Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Leia and thank you for clicking on this video. Today I did like a very sultry, smoky, just super glam, super rich, super, ugh, super beautiful holiday look. This is totally something that's so perfect for the holiday season. You can definitely wear it to like Friendsgiving, Thanksgiving, or Christmas parties, friends Christmas parties, just anything like that. And you can pair it with different like clothes, different dresses, different like holiday blouses, just anything like that. It's just super beautiful. And I really, really, really liked how it came out. Also guys, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. It definitely does help me out and I would love to have you here for future videos. I do love to do anything beauty related. I am a flight attendant, so I do like to take you on my travels with me when I fly. And also I do love Disney. Me and Andrew are huge Disney fans and we want to start incorporating a lot of Disney in our channel as well, like going to the parks, whether it be vlogs or holiday food or just food in general or merchandise, just anything in general, like tips. Uh, we know all that stuff and we want to bring that to our channel. If you want to see how I got this look, then please keep watching. we are gonna start off this tutorial by priming our eyelids this is the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish eyeshadow primer I am gonna blend it out with a Luxie 209 it's a large shader brush even though I don't like a lot of like eye primer I did decide to use it for this look and I think it worked really well with this eye look and for our eyeshadow look today, I did use the Dose of Colors Desi X Katie Friendcation palette. I do like this palette. It came out earlier this year and I've used it several times. The shades are definitely like super pigmented and they are beautiful. I am starting with the shade Basic. Um, this is going to be my transition shade in my crease. And I am going to go ahead and build from here. All of my looks always start with a good transition shade. And to further deepen the crease, I'm going to go in with the shade Necessary. I'm using the same uh, Sephora, it's just a large blending brush, and I'm going to go ahead and put that on top of the shade Basic and just further blend out that transition shade. This is just a little bit deeper of a color than the shade Basic that we used. So just layering them on top of each other. Okay, and up next, we're going to go in with the shade Girl Bye. <laughs> and this is going to be for the outer V, like the lower outside corners of your eyes. I am working it into like the lower part of your crease and just like on the lid on the outside. I'm starting to work on, I guess, the smokiness of the eye. Um, I'm going to go in with this color first, and then I will go in with the darker color later to further deepen it up. And again, it just adds dimension into your eye and it makes it look that super like sultry, smoky look. Okay, and now going in with the pencil brush, I'm going to go in with the shade Cheens. It's this beautiful like dark brown chocolate color. And I use a pencil brush because I'm trying to just place the color down and then I will go in later and blend it out with a blending brush. But I want as like deep of a chocolate color as I can get. So I'm just kind of placing it here and then I will switch brushes and blend it out. This is just a clean like smudge brush. I'm looking on the actual like brush and I can't read the name but it's just like I said like a thick smudge brush and all I'm doing is just using it to further blend out that chocolate color to make sure it blends very well with like my transition shades and so there's no harsh lines and that is just blended out. And now that we've finished a lot of our crease and outer V work, I'm going to go ahead and go with the shade Try Me. It's just this beautiful, like super metallic 
color. I don't know. I can't even explain it. It's like a cranberry or berry, but it's just really, really pretty. I'm going to go ahead and just actually put down like translucent powder underneath my eyes because I did notice I was getting fallout, but that's because I'm picking up a lot because I want it to be super, super like pigmented and like just really bold and beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and use my finger first and pick up Try Me and put on as much as I can with my finger. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the MAC 242 brush. I didn't wet the brush. The color is just as beautiful on its own. It doesn't need to be wet. But if you do want it to be more like metallic or foiled looking, you can definitely wet your brush with like Fix Plus, eye drops, water, anything like that. So I'm just using the brush again to further like place the color everywhere and as you can see I am getting a lot of fallout so I'm really happy that I put that translucent powder down since I already did my concealer and my foundation I didn't want to ruin that I went ahead and picked up my blending brush and I'm just kind of blending out the work that I did. I'm making sure everything is very seamless and doesn't have harsh lines. I don't think I really picked up much product. If I did, it's very, very minimum and I probably did it with the shade Basic just to again uh, make sure everything is blended really, really well. And then this right here is just a full like clean brush and all I'm doing here is just again blending but I'm not adding any more product I'm just further cleaning everything up and the best way to do that is just with the clean never used brush okay now I'm actually gonna go back in with all the same shades and brushes that I used before but I'm just kind of adding more color more pigment as you do blend and continue with your eye look you tend to sometimes lose that so I'm kind of just repeating the process all over again just to add more color and then I'm going to go ahead and blend it out again. Okay, now for the lower lash line, I am going to take that same pencil brush. It's a Crown C513 brush, and I'm going to pick up that chocolate color uh, called Chains, and I'm just going to place that down on my lower lash line. <music> And then with my blending brush, I'm going to take the shade Churro. Churro. I mean, who doesn't like a Churro? I think I want one now. <laughs> and I'm going to blend that out, the color Chains. And on that same um, blending brush, I'm going to pick up the color Girl By. And I'm kind of just placing that like right in the middle again to further smoke it out on the bottom. And then with my big powder brush, I'm just going to wipe away all that translucent powder to clean it up a little bit more. And the eyes are pretty much done in terms of shadow. To line my eyes, this is the trick that I always do. I just take a black coal and I only use it really for a tool. And I'm going to dip it into the Inglot number 77 gel liner. I love this liner. I use it all the time. And again, this coal is just used for a tool. I just want to pick up the number 77 gel liner. It's just a true, super pigmented, rich black color. And I'm going to go ahead and do my waterline and also tight line because I'm going to be putting lashes and I want everything to look unison. For mascara today, I'm actually going to be using a new one for me. This is the Tarte Big Ego Mascara. I'm not really sure what I feel about it yet. It was fine because I put lashes. I was just trying to coat my lash to get it prepped for the falsies. But to wear it on its own, I'll probably need tons of coats. 
but I do love how like bright and pink it is. <laughs> I'll keep you guys updated what I really feel about it. To bronze her face, I am going to use the Hula Caramel Caramel, however you say it, um, bronzer. This is a Moda brush. It doesn't have a name on it. I did receive it in a BoxyCharm a while back, but I use this for bronzer and I really, really love it. It has the best shape for bronzer. And again, be really careful with this bronzer because it is super, super pigmented and a little goes a long way. So I had to spend quite some time blending this out. I also already did my foundation, concealer, and powders off of camera. I will list that all in the description box of everything that I used if you are interested. To contour my face, I am going to go in with my NARS Eda brush. And this is the Smashbox um, Cali Contour Palette. And I'm just going to go in with the shade Contour. I do all the areas like my um, under my lower lip and my nose and then the cheeks. I'm just going to go ahead and do like a light aka light to me <laughs> contour and sorry if you're hearing the dogs they are literally going crazy right now <laughs> clean up my bronzer and contour work, I am going to go in with my e.l.f. sponge and cover FX translucent light powder and put it down my nose and also underneath the work I did on my cheeks. And for lashes, these are the Kiss. I think the style is called Gala. They are so beautiful. It's my first time wearing them, but dang, I really like them. They were so easy to put on. And I'm just going back in with my Tarte mascara and coating my lower lash line, my bottom lashes with a coat or two or three coats of mascara. <laughs> To highlight my brow bone and also the inner corner of my eyes, I'm going to go back in with the shade Just a Kiss from the Frankation palette. I didn't like how it was going on at first, so I went ahead and wet my brush with some Fix Plus, and it definitely gave it more like vibrancy to the look. It made it pop more, so I like how it came out as soon as I wet my brush. And I'm just building up the color on my inner corner and also my brow bone. I think my face has baked long enough so I'm going to go ahead and take my powder brush from Real Techniques and just dust away all the powder. And this is the Ofra Rodeo Drive highlight. It is my most poppin' highlight that I have and I love it. It can get out of control so fast so definitely take it easy, start with a light hand, build it up because looking at it, it is super, super like crystals it's like crystals on your cheek and I'm like wow every time I look at it like how super just out there it is it's just beautiful and you really don't need a lot it is beautiful for blush this is the Milani um, Berry Amore blush I actually haven't used this in a while I used to own Luminoso and I use that all the time but I don't have it anymore that's how much I used it and I purchased Berry Amore and I actually really like this color and it matches the look. After that, we are gonna spray some Urban Decay All Nighter. Love this stuff, use it literally every day. I don't think anything will replace it. It's my favorite. So go ahead and spray that all over your face and let it dry. And then we're gonna move on to lips. This is the Jordana Lip Liner in the shade Tawny. It's just a very neutral brown shade. I'm just lining my lips top and bottom and then filling them in a little bit so we can get them ready for our liquid lipstick. For 
for today I'm going to use this holiday lip kit that I picked up at Ulta. It's from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's like a five piece um, lip set. I think it's called Undressed. I'm going to go ahead and take the shade On Mute and Sand. I'm going to use them together. I first use On Mute to do like my full lip and then I will use Sand to kind of give my lip some dimension and pat it in the middle. So I'm going to use both and blend them in together. like my lips needed a little something more especially since this is a holiday look so I went in with uh, summer vibes it is the lip gloss in that same set it's very like shimmery champagne -y, and I thought it'd be a good like look give it a good vibe especially again since this is a holiday look and holiday looks are very like festive and very glam so I went ahead and just added a little bit in the middle and again blended it out with my finger oh look she cute she cute <laughs> And last but not least, the step that I always, always forget to do, um, run this Tinted Brow Mascara through my brows. This is the NYX uh, Tinted Brow Mascara in the shade Brunette. And this is our final step, guys. All right, guys, this is the end of this tutorial. This is the final look. I really, really, really loved how it came out. If you loved it, please do give me a thumbs up and please again subscribe. I do want to do more holiday looks um, in the next month or two coming up. I love the holidays. It's my favorite time of the year and I love makeup. So they go hand in hand. Anyways, guys, I hope you have a great holiday season. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.